Baxter Springs, Kansas is about 20 minutes from Joplin. The, some of the people here saw the tornado that hit Joplin. They saw it go overhead here, and so they're very familiar with that. A little bit sensitive to that kind of a storm and things. The tornado hit on the southwest corner of the city and moved up to the northeast. The southwest area seems to be a little bit more of the lower income, poor neighborhoods. And a lot of these people, they just don't make a lot of money and they don't have enough money to get insurance for their houses. Uh, they have enough that they can live on you know, very minimally, but uh, a lot of people just can't make it with insurance. And because they don't have any insurance, uh, that means it's a devastating loss for them. If the tornadoes come through and destroyed their house, they have absolutely no way of replacing their items, replacing their home. They don't have money to go somewhere else to, to live and exist. Their cars are damaged. They don't have car insurance for their cars. They have no way of getting to work. When you have a situation like that where you have lost so much and you have no way of regaining it. It is a very, very hopeless situation. You get very depressed and you have nowhere to turn. You can't even think of, of what to do next. You know, where do I go? Who, who do I even contact? And those are the people that we want to help. That's, those are the people that Samaritan's Purse wants to go and touch. Uh, we want to bring the hope of Jesus to those kind of people. I volunteered with Samaritan's Purse first because they came to Joplin and I'm from the area of Joplin and I just love the way they handled things and just their help going out and helping the community and so I keep volunteering because I do like what they do and they, I do like how they do it and then just helping people in their time of need. And now we're starting to get volunteers in and we're starting to work and uh, starting to actually do the work for the people and give them that hope. And it, it's great to see the people and watch them as their house transform from a pile of rubble to uh, a place where they can rebuild, where they can have some kind of a hope that, yeah, I can start over now. They've been a blessing. I really, really thank you. I don't know how long it would have taken me personally or me and my kids to do it on our own. It just shows God's love. And you have blessed me by helping me. Well, my name is Brandy and I'm with Samaritan's Purse. And I'd actually like to present these Bible to you. It's another I blessing, you know. I have a new Bible now. And, and everyone that worked here, they've signed it for me. So, you know, now when I say my prayers, I can open it up and remember each one of them specifically by name. It means a lot to me. We love you guys, and we're glad we could do this for you. And, uh, the only thing we required, we got some good reading in there, I'm sure you <laughs>